Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Damon Jackson versus Pat Sabatini. And I'm going to go lock confidence, Pat Sabatini, high confidence decision. So lock confidence, Pat Sabatini. And again, I well, you watch all these videos, I'm putting the players so you can play them all the way through and then like, you know, it makes sense. <laughs> but if, as I said in another one of these videos, I'm going lock crazy. Well, not lock crazy. I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm being generous with the locks, this card. Like, so I'm not going to do this every single week. Probably every couple months I might go crazy with them or if I really truly feeling it. Right now, I'm not truly, truly feeling like that, to be honest, but I am feeling it some. And i like, why not? So I'm going to lock confidence, Pat Sabatini. And um, also, I want to see that guy that's, like I said, he was a training mate with him. Um, I want to see a comment from the dude who said he was like a wrestling, or former wrestling mate of Pat Sabatini because always you was a, you know, a good thing to see him in the comments, you know, repping his boy. So I want to see you in the comments if you still watch. But um, yeah. But yeah, anyhow, Sabatini in this one, going a lot of comments past Sabatini. Both guys are stellar grapplers. Damon Jackson has been doing it longer at a higher level longer. But um, I can see Shades of Mursad Bectic fight. Not in fact that Damon Jackson will come from behind and submit him after Sabatini gets tired, but Sabatini has that wrestling as well. And he has a gas tank. And he's tougher and grittier than Mursad Bectic and got a better chin than Mursad Bectic. But it wasn't his chin, it was his cardio that failed, that failed Mursad Bectic. He just got tired. But I feel like Pat Sabatini, he, he, could, he got good cardio. He got conditioning. Like, even though Beckley should have had that. But we know Sabatini has better cardio, better endurance, better durability. And in battle between with a grappling, you know, maybe we'll even out. Or maybe Sabatini is the better grappler. We'll see. The guy that can better dictate where the fight goes will be Sabatini with that, you know, clearly the, the much better wrestler between the two. It should be a dictate pace. Neither of these guys, I would say, a lot of people say Sabatini is this and this on the striking, but I would say striking wise, I, neither of you guys impressed me on the feet. So it's coming to, coming down to like grappling wise, maybe that cancels out. But wrestling, Sabatini has a clear edge, and he should be able to dictate where this fight goes. And with his wrestling background, and also combined with his grappling background, he should be to neutralize the submissions of Jackson and just really stall him out, or just either stall him out or dictate the pace on the ground, or you know control the ground, or just stall him out. It's not a BJJ match, so he could win purely off just getting takedown, shutting off his submissions, land some ground and pounds. And mix in some ground, like, you no, know, rip him to the body a little bit, rip him top into this whole position. But I really want to see spectacular, but I'm going to say just a clean decision. I'm not really expecting nothing spectacular fight just to get past Jackson, lock confidence, take him down, dictate the pace of the fight, control where the fight's at, and control what's happening in the fight. Just be that ring general out there and get his hand raised. So in this one, I got Pat Sabatini via decision.